Google and Pets, I appear on the web. I'm also found. <coughs> Sorry, I had a cold uh, the last uh, few days, so my voice is not <coughs> okay. So, today I'm going to discuss about spread. Uh, so, I'm pronouncing it correctly. Spelled. Uh, this is a uh, front end framework which you can use to build up your uh, UI very nicely. It has a uh, server side rendering feature and it's, uh, it's very useful if you want to build up projects with like uh, modern framework. So, I'm going to quickly discuss about how we can deploy or how we can create a same uh, build project and then deploy to the AWS. So let's get started. To create a project, we can use a uh, build kit, spell kit. So that's the official uh, like tool that they use to create a new project. I'm going to use that. So it's very simple, npx is to create and then we can create a project. I give it a name. Um, so to um, uh, yes, uh, I'm going to use the demo. They provided the demo here. I'm going to use TypeScript and then put here. It means here. <coughs> so this will create a project for you locally. And then you can. Uh, You can run it locally, see what it provides. So I go to the tabs and I open this code the project. Now I run run there. Uh, yeah, they've got So this is the problem here. There is a bite. But we are doing Okay. Okay. For some reason, VR was not working. But let's see. Uh, we would, we are able to successfully run the project. Get the button, and I should be able to view that. So, this is the project uh, that they have provided <coughs> to us initially. If we set up within their demo, uh, demo example, so this is about the project here. This is a uh, website. Okay. That's good. Anyway, uh, this is like uh, not our goal. Our goal is to deploy to the uh, AWS amplified and run the project over there. So it works fine locally. Let's go. Stop it. Okay. Now uh, to run it in Amplify, we need to use an Amplify adapter. So AWS But 
So this is the adapter. Then they will install the adapter. Okay. We need to install that. And then uh, we need to add that to the spell configure.js file. Yes. Just replace the line number one with this panel. Looks good. Now, if you want to deploy to amplifier, we need to create an amplifier that you have a You can copy the code from here. Now let's see. Sometimes what happens is that uh, this is not really sometimes it's working. So I can just remove this section. That's it. Everything else will be installed. Now uh, this is the amplifier.yaml file. I need to push it to a git repository. So yes. Okay. I'll make it a public project so that you can also like uh, use it <coughs> for your uh, own example. This amplifier as well. I'm going to create a new repository. Spell spell it's a public so that you guys can all have this project. You can just uh, run it on your local and then add it, or you can start it as a base and then make your adjustments. Okay, so um, Okay, there is no uh, git repo there, so maybe we can run it. It's coming. Get it a temp folder. Paste it. This will clone that empty repository. Okay. This uh, motion with the correct rights. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. So that works fine. I just copy the gate. Dot git folder. If you copy this and place into this folder, remove app, remove app, paste it here. Now this project it's now part of your git. So here, and then uh, you can see the git, git lens is now showing you here. Thirty three channel. I'm going to add all. Now, especially I'm going to ignore template. That's good. Um, push. Push the changes to the world server. Status.
That worked fine. Anyway, um, sure. I should be able to push now. That's good. Uh, I was able to uh, push my code into GitHub repository. Yes, good. It's a good production. Now we need to create an amplifier project. Uh, and We'll link our domain. <coughs> so let's create a new project here. I'm going to use GitHub. Oops. It will ask your permission to authorize and invite to access GitHub. I access to all important tools. That's good. And then you can use the branch production. So click next. Now it will read the amplifier.yaml file and then it will show you the preview of what they are going to do. This is not a mono repo. If you are running a mono repo, that means multiple projects in one repo. It's mono repo, then you can choose. Anyway, uh, this page setting this is a preview. That's okay. I don't want to edit it. Click next. It's deployed. Meanwhile, it's being deployed. We take some time. Let's go to Cloudflare and bring uh, our data subdomain and point that subdomain. Well, I go to my domain, go to XYZ. Yes, but first make sure your app is being deployed correctly, right? If it's not deployed correctly, then we can link to the domain. Yeah, let's wait for one of the Okay, so the build went well, seems green. So uh, let's go to hosting and go to custom domains. I'm going to add a new domain here. SP dot right? Spelled still. Manual configuration because this is not in root 53. I'm going to remove that and let's production. Okay, fine. That domain. It will give me some DNS records which has which I have to add to my DNS. Refresh one more time. Here it is. So I need to add this CNAME record. And let's see this CNAME. Hmm. 
and then this B, this is the same, another one. Add another C name. This is for the subdomain SV. Save it. So you need to add two C name records. <laughs> now uh, let's see. It will now verify if you have updated the records. So that will take some time. Maybe one or two more minutes. SSL creation is done. SSL now configuring. So um, it might take around one or two minutes. Let's wait. Okay, the SSL configuration is also done. That means the DNS record that we added, it's verified. So we can now try to verify this site, this link. Probably the DNS is not propagated on our end. So that's the issue. We can preview using the amplified temporary URL. That is also simple. As you can see, we have uh, the main website here and also the puzzle board game. Then looks good, but I'm just waiting for my domain name to be activated. Let's see if, if I can get it in uh, in computer. The DNS is still not pointing properly. What we can use, like uh, proxy sites. Uh, these these are kind of like uh, proxy sites that <coughs> we can use to verify. They they use. Uh, it's just, Maybe we can use cloud player free VPN. Let's see if you okay. If you use VPN, then probably they're going to use the latest DNS. Uh, connection. It's connected. So now let's see. Yeah, now it's good, right? As you can see, uh, my subdomain, it's now pointing to the exactly website that I am getting. Now, uh, <clears throat> you know the process, how to deploy your uh, spelled application into AWS. Uh, the GitHub repo is available. I can provide that into the video description. You can just copy or clone it from here and then customize based on your own needs. So that's it for today. I hope this helps you to get started with Spelled in AWS and uh, build your project over there. Thank you, everyone. Allah Hafiz.